All right, hey AP Chemistry. I wanted to make a quick video on sample calculations for the mass of hydrate. Just need to get my calculator. So just to remind you, you heated up magnesium sulfate, some hydrate. You heated up a hydrate of magnesium sulfate. You don't know how many water molecules are attached to the hydrate. And so to remind you what a hydrate is, it's some ionic compound that has water molecules stuck to it in the solid state. When you heat it up, those water molecules will boil off or evaporate, or not boil, will boil off as a gas. And you'll get a mass difference when you heat them off. Um, if you heat them off, you get this kind of decomposition. You have magnesium sulfate, which we call the anhydrous solid, just that white solid in there. And then you have some water that escapes as a gas. And I'm gonna put G as the gas. So what you did was you took the mass of the entire hydrate and then you heated it up a couple of times and then you got the mass after of something we call the anhydrate. So I have some sample data for us to look at. Let's say the mass of my entire hydrate was 6.923 grams. That's this whole thing and I don't know how many water molecules are on there. Then after I heat it, I get a mass of 3.382 grams. What is this difference in mass due to? Well, I'm gonna say loss of mass or mass loss and I'm gonna get that number. My mass loss is going to be, and then think about what this mass loss, loss is again. So if I do 6.923 minus 3.382, I get 3.541, 3.541 grams. This is my mass loss. This mass loss is due to water that left the system. This mass loss is my XH2O. Now I have a mass of my water and I have a mass of my magnesium sulfate as a regular ionic solid, not as a hydrate. In the end, you wanna figure out what X is. So I'm gonna do something with these numbers. I can't compare masses, I could compare moles. So I'm gonna convert both of these to moles, okay? So I'm gonna convert both of these to moles. If I wanna do that, I wrote up here that the molar mass of magnesium sulfate by itself is 120.37. So one mole of MgSO4 over 120.37 grams of AgSO4, MgSO4. I'm just converting that to moles. I will get 3.382 divided by 120.37. I get 0.0. I'm going to round up to one mole of MgSO4. And now I'm going, to I'm going to convert these grams to moles of water. I'm going to use the molar mass of water. Remember, this mass loss is due to water that left. It's this H2O that left the system. So one mole over 18 grams of H2O. And if I do this calculation, 3.541 divided by 18, I get 0.197 moles of H2O. Now, I have how many moles of H2O there are. I have how many moles of MgSO4. If I want to figure out what my value of X is, or how many water molecules came off per mole of MgSO4, I'm gonna divide my moles of H2O by my moles of MgSO4. That's gonna give me my number of H2Os that came off in the hydrate. So if I do this, I'll have 0.197 moles over 0.0281 moles of H2O for MgSO4. And I will get, if I do this math correctly, 0.197 divided by 0.0281. Huh, look at that. I get about seven moles of H2O for every one mole of MgSO4. So if I have one MgSO4, my value of X is equal to seven moles of H2O. That's what X goes here. 
So now, if the question says, what is the formula of my hydrate, and I'll write this in a different color, I'm going to substitute the value of 7 in to x. The formula for my hydrate, according to my data here, would be MgSO4 dot 7H2O. Done. That is how I would write my formula, MgSO4 dot 7H2O. So this is how you're doing your sample calculation. This is how you're doing your calculations for the formula of hydrate lab. It's a lot less work than the, um, the bicarbonate mixture lab. If you have any other questions or concerns, please let me know. And don't forget that your lab report is due on midnight by Wednesday.